So in this hand, we have the Ford Raptor, who has proven its off-road worth multiple times over. And now we have the new Ram TRX with the Hellcat engine, who's ready to take the crown. Or can it? Welcome back to the channel, and this has turned out to be quite the debate online. The Raptor versus the TRX, the 3.5 EcoBoost versus the Hellcat engine. Well, it's not quite that simple. Let's talk about what's going on here because everything around this TRX is pretty much the engine. This is the whole basis of everybody's uh, TRX beats the Raptor thing is the engine, but it's an off-road truck. So you need to look a little bit more than just the engine. Before we get into that debate, I'm going to need you to drop a like on the video and consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to keep up on all the automotive news and trends and pretty much all the gossip that's going on through the internet on topics like this one because they can get pretty heated. I like this topic though because, again, the Raptor always been the off-road king. It High-speed Baja-type terrain is its specialty, but it has proven to be able to do some rock crawling here and there. Uh, but it's gotten away from its roots. The first-generation Raptor had the 5.4-liter Triton engine, which was a pretty good engine, a little bit underpowered, though. Then came the second gen, which had the 6.2-liter engine, putting out about 411 horsepower and just a little bit more than that in torque. That was the engine everybody wanted. So now we go one step further into generation three, where we have the 3.5 twin turbo EcoBoost engine putting out 450 horsepower and 510 pound feet of torque. Made it with a 10 speed transmission. Now the power is unquestionable. It's got tons of power, tons of torque, and that 10 speed transmission is incredible. The problem is the sound that comes out of those tailpipes is not, well, it's less than desirable. It doesn't really sound like a big bad truck. It sounds like a... Now that doesn't take away from the off-road capability, and that is the, the whole thing premise behind this truck so can it still off-road obviously yes it has incredible off-road capability but the thing that I've noticed and I've done some research across the internet is that the used market for the Raptor especially the 6.2 is higher than the market for the new 3.5 now I see a lot of the 3.5s on the road I do but I do see just as many 6.2 Raptors, and that one sounds like a beast. Now let's fast forward to, well, last week, when Ram introduced the TRX, which is the Raptor fighter with the Hellcat engine. 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Now that's a powerful truck, but can it off-road as good or better than the Raptor? This is where the debate comes in. Because as soon as they hear those horsepower numbers and it's got a supercharged Hellcat engine, automatically the TRX wins. Mm, I kind of agree, but then again I don't. I'm going to tell you why. Let's run through a couple stats first. These trucks are not meant for straight line power. They're not drag race trucks. They're off-road trucks. But we're going to do the 0 to 60s anyway. The Raptor comes in at 5.1 and the TRX comes in at a 4.5. So you're about a hair over a half a second difference. We knew that was going to happen anyway. 702 horsepower versus 450. It, there's no contest. But let's get into the off-road capability. The TRX has 11.8 inches of ground clearance. The Raptor has 11.6. They're practically identical. A quarter of an inch isn't going to make that much of a difference. So I call that a wash. Suspension travel. TRX, 13 inches in the front, 14 inches in the rear. 
the exact same travel as the Raptor, which also has 13 front and 14 rear, both of which have lockers front and rear. The Raptor, on the other hand, I do know has an optional 410 gear ratio for the front. I don't know what the TRX has. I probably should have looked into that. Both of which sit on 35 inch tires, both of which have a wider track to handle high speed off road terrain, and both have numerous off road settings to select from. Now, we've seen the Raptor in action in pretty much every terrain possible rocks, sand, mud, high speed terrain you name it, it's been there and it's conquered it. The TRX, on the other hand, we've seen the intro from Ram on what it can do. But we haven't actually seen it in a journalist's or an everyday person's hand for them to try it out. So we've yet to figure that out and I think that's going to be a crucial test to what this truck can do. But let's go back for a second and talk about that horsepower because the TRX isn't even out yet. It was debuted and we know it's coming but it's not here yet. But you know what else is coming? A V8 Raptor. And not any V8 Raptor. It's been confirmed that Ford is putting the GT500 engine in the new 2021 Raptor. So now, we have a fight. In the Mustang, that GT500 engine puts out 760 horsepower. Obviously, that's more than the 702 in the TRX. Now, it's also rumored that they're going to detune that engine, though, to around 725 horsepower, give or take. We'll have to wait and see what the final numbers are. But that's still more than the Hellcat engine. So now the question is, are we having a truck war with who can put the bigger engine in the truck? Or are we going to have the truck that can actually off-road better than the other one? I mean, because you can put any engine you want in a truck and just say, I got more horsepower. I don't think we're trying to drag race trucks. We want to go off-roading. But obviously horsepower is nice. There's no such thing as too much horsepower. But where the truck's going to shine is on the trails. You want something fast, buy a Hellcat or buy a GT500. You want something to go through the sand, the trails, and everything else. Let's worry about a truck. And now that we know the Raptor is going to have just a big engine as the TRX, now who wins? The funny thing is, I know a lot of people are saying, well, Ford only did that because Ram did it first. Truth of the matter is, Ford has had this plan for quite a while, and they've already got the prototype, or test mule, as we'll say, out on the streets running around. So now you're going to have to keep your eyes and ears out for the new GT500 powered Raptor. Because that is going to be a fight. So before you go putting your orders in for the TRX, let's hold off just another couple months until we see what exactly the new Raptor has in store. So now that you have the lowdown on the new Raptor that's coming out, I'm going to need you to drop your comments down below on everything we just mentioned. What do you now think of the Raptor versus TRX? Who's going to win? Is there a definite winner? Or does the horsepower not even matter? I still think it's up to what the truck can do on the trails, in the dirt, wherever you put it, because it's a truck. We're not drag racing them. Horsepower is awesome. Capability is where it counts. So light up that comment section. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next upload.